Fellowship kids and anybody else who is out there watching with us today. The last few weeks, we have been doing the parables of Jesus. That means the stories that Jesus told the disciples while he was here on earth to help them learn how they should be living their life and how they should be teaching others. But today, I have a story that goes back to the first part of the Bible in the Old Testament. And this story has to do kind of with where I am right now. I wonder if you know what room I am in in the church. Well, I'm in the nursery. And this picture behind me, this painting behind me, is what I'm going to tell you the story about today. It's a story about a family and all the animals, a huge boat, a flood of water, and a rainbow. It's the story of Noah. Now Noah was 500 years old when he finally had three sons. Can you imagine that? 500 years old when he had kids? Oh my goodness. But you know, back in the Old Testament, people lived a long, long time because they had to get the world up and moving and growing and having people. So 500 years old wasn't out of the normal in the Old Testament. Well, when Noah had his three sons, God was watching down on the earth like any great father, and there were some things happening that made God very, very sad. People were not acting the way that God wanted them to act. They were sinning terrible. It made God so unhappy that he decided he was going to flood the earth and start over again. Well, when God looked down at the earth one more time, he saw Noah. And Noah was leading a righteous life. That means that he was walking with God the way that God wanted people to be. So God had a conversation with Noah. And he asked Noah to build an ark. And an ark is a huge boat. God even told Noah what kind of wood to build the ark with, how big it needed to be. He wanted it to have three floors. He told him the size of all the rooms in the ark. Now that was going to be a humongous ark because there were going to be all the animals on the earth in the ark. Two of each. That means two elephants and two flamingos and two lions and two hippopotamus and two giraffes. Two of every living animal on the earth because Noah was going to keep those animals safe through the flood so that they could start the world over with animals. Well, it took Noah about 100 years to finally build that huge ark. And then God spoke to him again and told him to get all of his family, his wife and his sons and their wives into the ark. And then two of each animal into the ark. And when Noah did that, he closed the doors of the ark. And just like God had said, it began to rain. And it rained and it rained and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. It rained so hard. The ark rocked and swayed on the waves and the water got higher and higher and higher. Well, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. But my goodness, the land was covered with water. Noah's family couldn't get off the ark because there was so much water. Noah's family stayed on that ark for about 150 days. Oh, I bet it was stinky with those animals on there. Oh my goodness. Well, after about 150 days, Noah sent a dove out. 
the dove came back, but it did not have anything in its mouth. Noah kept sending doves out to see if they came back with anything so that he knew that there would be land out there. And finally, the dove took off and no one knew that it was time. Now God had made a very special promise to Noah. He promised Noah that if he built that ark, and he started the world over with all the animals and his family, that he would never again flood the earth. And the promise that God made was shown to Noah and his family with a beautiful rainbow across the sky. And every time I see a rainbow in the sky, I always remember this special story from the Bible, the story of Noah and the ark and God's promise to all of us with a rainbow. I hope that sometime this week or sometime soon, you see a rainbow in the sky and you know that that is a symbol of God's promise to you that he will never again flood the earth. I hope you enjoyed the story about Noah's ark. It's such a wonderful story, one of my absolute favorites. But we always want you to have a couple of songs that come after our story. So, here's two songs for today. The first one is called, Who Built the Ark? Ready? Here we go. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah. Who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. In came the animals two by two. Hippopotamus and kangaroo. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. In came the animals four by four. Some through the window and some through the door. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. In came the animals, six by six. Elephants laughing at the monkey's tricks. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. In came the animals, eight by eight. Some were on time and some were late. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. Now, one more song today, and this song has some motions to it that you might want to follow along with. This song is called Deep and Wide, and it's about water too. Here are the motions. Deep, wide, and flowing fountain. Here we go. Get ready. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Now we're going to turn it around. We're going to go wide and deep, and we'll still have the fountain. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain flowing wide and deep. Wide and deep, wide and deep, there's a fountain flowing wide and deep. Boys and girls, you can watch these and learn these and sing these along at home when you're just playing. Have a great week and we'll see you very soon.